This time in Tokyo, the Olympic Games have been a little bit extra special because new sports stars have emerged. This enthusiasm for Olympic players in India is a sign for a big change. But are seven Olympic medals enough for a country of 135 crores? If not, what should we do to win more? Welcome to IIS by Heart. In this video, we will give you a few important points a UPSC aspirant should know regarding the well-known, celebrated and most awaited Olympics and what India must do to win more medals in Olympics. Out of a total of 33 sports, India could have won the gold medal in 5 sports but got only one and this one gold medal also came after 13 years. In the history of the last 121 US of the Olympic Games, India has achieved its best medal tally this time. Our Olympians have won one gold, two silver and four bronze medals. However, this number of medals could have been more. Our country has won only 35 medals in the 29 Olympic Games it had participated so far. And this number is inclusive of gold, silver and bronze medals. Of these, India has won seven medals this time. Whereas America has won 39 gold medals in this year's game alone. And they are in first place in this medal tally with a total of 113 medals. The second place is China, which has won 88 medals of which 38 are gold medals. Japan is third on this list, having won 58 medals. The biggest reason for this is the sporting culture in their respective countries. There are many reasons for India's poor performance in international competitions like lack of investment in sports, weak infrastructure, players not getting much encouragement and people's passion for cricket. These are all reasons for poor performance and they cannot be ignored. But there is a bigger reason than that. It is people's attitude towards sports in India. On the birth of children in our country, parents say that their child will grow up to become a doctor, an engineer or an IAS officer. But no one says that he will grow up and bring medals for the country. That is, in our country, people want a champion like Neeraj Chopra but they are not ready to groom the champion from their own house. And the biggest reason for this is a lack of trust in sports as a career. India has a culture of reading and teaching maths and science, not sports. Stephen Hawking once said that the people of India are experts in mathematics and physics. Similarly, India ranks second in the number of scientists in the world. Around 1500 scientists from India are providing their services across the world. That is, what we learn from these Olympic Games is that Sporting culture needs to be promoted in India and this will be possible only when sports will be promoted at school and college level itself and not just be limited to one period. Basically, why can't every state in the country pick one Olympic sport where it has the capability and talent and leverage it to get medals? A partnership with a private company can also help build that Olympic sport. One big thing here is that sports is just a state subject. And to promote it, the state governments must make their own policies and increase the budget for sports. State committees and committees of different sports also have to work in tandem. Therefore, if India has to change its fortune in Olympics, then the state governments will have to play an important role in this. For example, Maharashtra can pick up wrestling. We have a great tradition of wrestling in Maharashtra and tie up with the Reliance Foundation and build the sports infrastructure there. Jharkhand which has a great tradition of archery, could tie up with Tata Steel. Ariana could focus on boxing and shooting. Manipur in weightlifting and a Kerala, maybe in rowing. We can create special events for specific states and build an Olympic level infrastructure around it. Most critically, allow the private sector foundations like JSW Sports of Jindal Steel to take the elite athletes to the next level, just as they did by supporting Neeraj Chopra. Whatever the take may be, one thing that everyone believes is that the performance in the future has to improve. All these solutions are valid and will definitely make an impact on the sports performance. However, these solutions will not work in isolation. There is a need to first identify the problems in the present system and understand how they are interconnected to each other to be finally able to propose non-isolated solutions and an implementation plan. What the government can do is to provide an enabling in environment, ensure that budgets are not cut, invest in building a solid school level sports infrastructure and create a system which is free of stifling bureaucracy and politics and is truly merit driven. That's the role of the state. The role of the private sector is to look at life beyond cricket and fun Olympic sports and elite potential medal winning athletes. 
the day we realize that and start building a world class sporting infrastructure and a true sports culture in every new corner of india we can truly celebrate the spirit of kelo india and dream of actually winning many more olympic medals tokyo 2020 is not the finish line but must become the starting point for the great indian olympic ambition thank you